What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So on today's episode, we're going over an awesome tool under $30. This Klein LCD display tester is uh, pretty much awesome in every single way. I'm gonna show you all the features that I possibly can today, and I'm gonna give you an in-depth review of this product and just why it's worth your money. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get down to the real reason why we're here. So the best thing about this tool is that it is a 100% standalone with two AAA batteries. So you're not requiring any power from the outlet for this thing to work. So you go ahead and power it up and you have to hold the button. It powers up. And if there's no power whatsoever, it will say open hot. So if you are sticking it in the outlet and it still says open hot, well, that means you have no power. So once inserted, this thing tells you that you have 122 volts AC, 123, and your wiring is correct. So what I wanted to do today is show you guys exactly what this looks like when uh, problems start to arise and what you will see on the LCD display. So we're gonna go ahead and take off our ground here and it shows us open ground, but we still have our 123 volts. AC. So shows our fault here. Um, let's go ahead and hook our ground back up and take our neutral off. So it says open neutral greater than 30 volts AC. Now uh, there is still voltage flowing through the power to uh, the power to ground, so we are getting still some voltage, but it's probably only about 60 volts AC. Uh, coming through on the neutral leg here. So let's see if we are, let's see what it looks like when we reverse our neutral and ground. So now we have hot neutral reversed, she's still showing 123 volts AC, showing our fault here. So the, the next best thing about this bad boy is that you can pull it out and it does hold your reading for 10 seconds. So if you were oriented in a place where, well, now that we have the ground up and you have to plug it in, you're not going to place your head on the floor to look at it. You can simply plug it in, get your reading, flip it over, and bam, it's here on the screen. Piece of cake. I love that hold feature. And if you were needing to go from outlet to outlet very quickly in a home inspection or something like that, you can simply press the power button and it will reset ready for your next outlet. So let's go ahead and get everything back here to normal. And we will uh, look at another problem that might arise where this thing will definitely shine. So, you know, if you've ever used these LED simple ones with the little cheat sheet on the front, these are great, but there are some situations where you can run into a problem. So let's just say that somewhere along the line, a neutral and a ground got severed. So now we take away our ground and we take away our neutral. So now we have no LEDs on this thing. It just flat out doesn't work. But when you come in with your non-contact voltage tester, you're showing voltage at this outlet. What's up with that? So you have voltage at the outlet, but this thing isn't working. So now you assume that maybe this is a bad tool all around, I don't know. So that's where this standalone Klein tester comes in great because now it shows we have an open ground and neutral. So we only have a hot wire and it's coming in greater than 30 volts, but it's showing exactly what our fault is. Unlike our tester that requires its power from the outlet. So the greatest thing about this thing is that it is standalone. So boom. Now let's go inside. I'll show you guys exactly how this thing tests a GFCI outlet. All right, guys, now we're in the bathroom. I'm gonna show you exactly how this works on a GFCI outlet. We're gonna go ahead and hit test, and it shows us the exact time that it took to trip the GFCI 
0.01 seconds. So this is great for any kind of inspection and testing these GFCI outlets. Um, and I love that hold feature, which just in case it is oriented in a different way, you can't see it. Well, guess what? You can pull it out and see it right here on the screen. So there's that feature. All right, guys, last thing I wanted to test was the accuracy of this tool. So of course, when you get anything, you want to be able to rely on them and accuracy is something that's nice to have um, so you're not uh, guessing, right? So let's go ahead and test our outlet here. It says 122.7 and our outlet tester says 122. I'm happy with that accuracy right there. And for a prosumer or a DIYer, a beginner, an apartment owner, really just pretty much anybody that would ever wanna test an outlet, this will suffice for 99% of the things that you wanna do. Um, if you're trying to do anything more and you need a multimeter, well, guess what? You should own a multimeter. But if you're just testing outlets, this is a great option. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. At a $20 price tag on this Klein tester, I think it is absolutely 100% worth your money, whether it really doesn't matter who you are. $20 is a steal for the product that gives you this much flexibility when testing outlets. So I highly recommend this tool. That's why it's on an awesome tools under $30 playlist. If you like my video, well, guess what? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you're subscribed to the channel, well, I appreciate your loyalty. If you haven't subscribed already, well, I guess you need a checkup from the neck up because we're having nothing but fun around here. I'll see you guys in the next video.